rhinoceros and the female rhinoceros and he's looking at the female rhinoceros with that look that look that can only say that can only suggest he wants to go ball steep we are watching oh just marvel at how the rhinoceros roars with pleasure brass tanks what's going on people it's your boy brass tax in this bitch bbc earth is pretty big here in the uk people love that shit they eat that shit up in droves when that shit comes out when that shit's on, they, I, I, I don't know whether they had it in 3D. I'm sure they had something similar in 3D. I like watching animals and wildlife and stuff. You know, you know what to avoid when you go away on safari in this bitch. Have a look at this. Now, I'll be honest, I wasn't initially going to pick this up, but a lot of people had recommended it saying that I should because, you know, wildlife and what have you and in stunning 4k so let's just get on with this now as you can see okay here we go bbc planet earth hdr okay narrated by david attenborough okay let's turn this around got six episodes okay islands mountains jungles deserts grasslands and cities open this up let's unseal this bitch okay so we've done all that to make sure okay nice and easy there we go okay advertising other shit as they do they've got one 4k disc here they got one 4k disc there the blu-ray equivalent the blu-ray equivalent okay david attenborough has always been the man what he does here is he actually goes balls deep I ain't gonna lie to you. I never watched the first Planet Earth, Planet Earth 1, but I heard great things. And if that comes out on 4K, I'm definitely gonna pick that one up. But this one is amazing. And if the first one was anything like this, then I've gotta pick it up at some point. When it does come out, there's four discs, two UHDs, and two standard 1080p Blu-rays. Those two UHD discs have six episodes in that bitch. Three on one, three on the other. You got islands, then you got mountains, jungles, deserts, grasslands, and cities. Interesting fact about this, the raw footage of this was actually four terabytes in size. God damn! You got all this footage shot with various different cameras, two of which are 5K and 6K respectively, you're gonna have some superb results in this bitch. It's landscapes, it's the jungle, it's Komodo dragons, cheetahs, tigers, and all that shit. Mountains, everything. You can't go wrong. And people usually get something like this for two reasons. They're a wildlife enthusiast, or they're okay about wildlife, and they want demo quality material. So let's just get on with the next bit then. <sighs> Planet Earth 2. Full screen, 16.9. Shot in 5K, 6K, and 2.8K. Digital intermediate, 4K. DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. This may not come as a surprise to you, but it's a reference quality disc. The videos on this are quite simply put, breathtaking. This is the demo disc to showcase your 4K TV. This is the mutts nuts. Landscapes look gorgeous. The jungles look gorgeous. The animals look gorgeous, the nature scenes. There is so much detail, sharpness, depth of field, black levels, everything insanely detailed in this bitch. HDR is gorgeous. I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be the disc they use to showcase 4K in like your local stores, Best Buys or what have you. That's gonna be the disc playing in that bitch because this is gonna show off your TV from the HDR. Everything just looks gorgeous. As it should. It's a reference quality disc. It's a gorgeous disc. But there's one thing that perhaps would have taken it even more over the edge. If this was shot in 4K 60, god damn, can you imagine? That shit would be even more amazing because this is really about animals who overcome the, the challenging climates of the earth and how they adapt perfect for 4k 60 it's wildlife it made sense so i was a little bit disappointed not disappointed because i knew it wasn't going to be 60 but that would have really i think that would have just taken it over the edge but it's demo quality people it's no point talking about the hairs on the lions and dots on the cheetahs and the scales on the komodo dragons in this bitch because it all looks a1 i could go on and on telling you standout moments 
I watched the first episode. Shit looked beautiful. Shit looked like you could reach in and touch it. It looked beautiful to any 4K collection. Even if you don't like wildlife that much, your jaw will drop when you put this disc in. Even if you don't like wildlife that much, I am telling you, my dad loves this National Geographic wildlife bullshit. I'm going to get him down here and have him watch this bitch because he's going to be blown away. I know he is. It's that good, people. Oh, by the way, brass hats, seal of approval. I'm not really going to say much more about it other than the fact that you really need to pick it up. You need to order that bitch now. It is what it is. <laughs> It's a 5.1. It's as detailed as it can be. You're going to appreciate the sound and you're going to appreciate some of the subtleties, but in my opinion, it just doesn't come close to Atmos or 7.1 because imagine them shooting this shit in the wildlife. They're not going to carry around extra microphones and shit, are they? So, that would be fucked up. Do get chewed up by a lion just just, just because you're carrying extra microphones just so they can give us Dolby Atmos sound in this bitch. Not going to work, is it? You'll appreciate the visuals more than you'll appreciate the sound. It's decent. That's what I really can say about it. It's a great disc. It's a reference disc. It is a demo disc that you'd want to show off. You got 300 minutes of demo worthy shit. That's a hell of a lot of time. You can't go wrong with this. Pick it up. It's just gorgeous. And you know what? Another thing you'll like is it will just make you realize how much of the world you just haven't seen in this beach. Yeah, it's a beautiful disc. Pick it up, that's really all i got to say about it. Alright guys, I hope you liked the review. Hit the like if you liked it, definitely comment and tell me your thoughts on the disc. I've already heard some of your opinions. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys soon. You take care.